So we got the Blue Fang UVR5, and I'm going to show you how to program in a repeater. It's uh, not as complicated as you see, as it may seem. You know, once you get the hang of it, it's quite quick. Only takes about a minute. But to start with, it seems a bit awkward. So I'm going to call. We've got two frequencies for repeaters. We've got the transmit and re and, re and receiving, but basically I'm going to forget about those and I'm just going to call the receiving and the transmitting frequencies of the handset. Okay, so when you're transmitting on the handset, the um, repeater is receiving, and when you're receiving on the handset, it's the transmitter trans the receiver transmitting. So I hope that makes sense, but basically, just to save uh, to save things getting confusing, you've got two frequencies on here. This handset is going to transmit on one frequency and receive on another. Okay, so the repeater I'm going to program. Um, I'm going to put it into number 29, just because that's where I am at the moment. Anyway, so all you do is make sure... You're on frequency mode. Frequency mode. I need the, uh, sorry about the noise, but um, I'm going to turn the volume up slightly so you can hear the radio talking. So Channel make sure mode. you're on frequency mode. Frequency mode. And type in the receiving frequency, like I say, which is the transmitting frequency of the repeater. But for the handset, it's the receiving frequency. One, four, five, seven, two, five. Okay, now go to menu. Menu. And I think it's menu 13. You can just go up and down one at a time. And here you need to type in the tone. I know the tone for this repeater is 118.8. .8. It timed out, so I'm going to go back. Menu. Menu. It's on there. Menu again. And up to 118.8, .8. or whatever your desired tone is. Menu again to save it. Confirm. And it's best to press exit. So you've exited out of the menu, and that has now put in the tone. Menu. We're going to go to menu again and go to menu 27. Like I say, you can type it in. Or you can go up through the menu system one at a time to 27. So it's now memory channel. I'm going to press menu. Memory channel. And I'm going to go up to number 29 because that's the memory I want. So it's now going to say which. Um, it's going to say saving. Receiving memory. It's receiving. It's saving receiving memory. So it's now saved the handset's receiving memory, which is the repeater's transmitting memory. So now what we do, let's press exit, it's already timed out. Make sure you're on frequency mode again. Channel mode, frequency mode. And type in the, rec the, the receiving frequency of the repeater, which is the transmitting frequency of the handset. So. One, four. Five, one, three, zero. And now, menu again. Menu. Back up to menu 27. And just press menu again. Memory channel. Transmitting memory. So that's the transmitting memory programmed in, and the first time was the receiving memory. So when you program a frequency into each channel, first of all, it does one frequency and then you type it in again and it does the other frequency. So it does one at a time. I think there is another way of doing this but this seems to be quite simple. Now just make sure when you're testing you press this to go back to channel mode. Channel mode. And you'll see so the receiving is 725 and when I press the talk button it should go to 130. So it's transmitting and receiving. Transmitting and receiving. 
and that's it. Um, I did just transmit then, but I'm deep, deep inside the building, and I know I can't get out, so I'm not interfering with any, anyone or anything. But uh, so that's a, I think a quick way. Once you get the hang of it, it only takes about a minute to do each repeater. Um, I've got three of these. I've got three of these things, so uh, I've sort of got used to it now. Anyway, hope that helps, and good luck. Thank you. Bye bye.